Hi friends, today we are making rainbow colored hair trolls. So excited, the movie is coming out today. I know my kids can't wait to see it. So I thought let's kick off the day making our own trolls. Um, for this project, you're gonna need canvas or thick paper, um, crayons, a fork, a hair dryer, I'll show you why, and um, you're going to need paints and brushes for the troll itself, the troll's face. Um, so gather all of your things and let's go have some fun. Okay, so first we are going to draw our troll. As you can see, I have a bunch of crayons out. I got my hair dryer and my canvas. And so we're gonna start with um, putting our troll's face towards the bottom here. This is where the troll's face is going to be. So grab a pencil and you're going to, in the middle, make Shape like that. Okay, and then we're gonna put a line right down there in the middle. And then from there, we are going to make the nose, which is another curved line. Ooh, I somehow got crayon on my hand. Okay, there we go. I'll paint over that later. That's a happy mistake. Okay. And we're going to make three bumps. It's bump, bump, and bump for our nose. Okay. I'm trying to do this dark so you can see it. All right, and then we're gonna make some big eyes. So we're gonna just make two circles. There's one. Today, I'm not making any specific character. It's just a rainbow troll. So if you wanted yours to be someone from the movie, then you can just pick out certain colors for the hair. And then I'm just gonna make that little shine in the eyes like that. Okay, and then we're gonna make a smile. So for my smile, just putting those little lines there, and then we're just going to connect them. Like that. Okay, so our troll is happy. And now we have to make the ears. So my ears are going to come up like this on both sides. And then curve them down like that. Okay, put a little line in each of the ears and then I'm going to make some big cheeks. My cheeks are just going to fall off the page because we wanted to save most of the space for the hair. Okay, so there is my troll. The eyes will be black. You can put little eyebrows in if you want to. Okay, for this next part, you're gonna need a fork and you're gonna need some crayons. You're gonna rip the paper off the crayon colors you choose and you're gonna need your hair dryer. And so I'm not going to talk during this part uh, because it's going to be loud with the um, hair dryer. But what we're going to do is we're going to start with the crayons with the hair at the top and we're going to overlap other colors on top of it. So I want you to just watch me do this part before you do it and I'm going to put it in fast forward for you.
the crayon and the hair dryer. That was um, fun. It takes some patience because sometimes your crayon will blow off and you have to get your fork and put it back on. Um, but I think that's a lot of fun. I hope you thought so too. Now we're going to just use um, any color you want to make your troll and um, black. So pick one color and black and then we're gonna start painting. Okay, so I'm gonna use a medium sized brush and I'm just going to, I chose light blue for my troll. I'm gonna outline his face. And then I'm gonna go around the eyes. But you can make your troll yellow, you can make your troll pink, purple, whatever you want. Fill in this space here. We're gonna fill in our ears. Go around the nose so that I know where to put my black line later. You could even take a Sharpie marker if you wanted to and just outline the pencil and then you can just paint right on top of it. Sometimes that makes it easier too. Then you don't have to go around it. And if you accidentally paint on top, that's okay. You can make a smile of your own later. Just right on top of your, your face color. He's so cute, I'm gonna think of a name for him. Okay, now we're ready for our black. So you're gonna need a tiny brush for this part. And I'm gonna dip my brush on its side and roll it so I get a little point. And then I'm going to Paint all the pencil lines black now. Oops, I put it in the blue. Okay. And black covers everything, so you should be able to just go right into the black outlining, but if you want to take a break, and then do the outlining, that's okay too. If you wanna let it dry a little longer. Everyone is different the way they paint. Um, 
I happen to put like a thin coat of paint when I paint, but some people like it thicker. But this took a long time too. So again, if you're, if you're feeling like I need a break, you have all weekend, you can come back to it. You want to just make sure you're enjoying yourself. So there's plenty of art projects that I start. And then when I'm feeling like out of the mood, I take a step away from it, go do something else, and then I come back and finish it. And it comes out nicer when I do that rather than forcing myself to sit there and finish a project. Gotta be in the mood. He's coming to life now. So I'm just tracing around that little shine part in the eye. If when you're doing the crayon part, if you have glitter crayons in your box, that would look awesome. I had some metallic crayons. That one was metallic. But I couldn't find my glitter crayons. But it does work. And you can keep layering on top of that if you wanted um, it to ha be a little thicker. difficult for me to paint on the side like this. I'm looking on a side angle. So my eyes are a little bit different than each other. Try and round that out a little more. Okay, now we need a happy face. This is where if you paint it over it, that's okay. Just make your happy face in black. A little trick with a line so that it's not so scary or to paint. Sometimes you can just do a dotted line like that and then connect it. And then it'll come out straighter. It's easier to connect dots, right? He's so happy. And I'm going to outline. Well, we have to make the two lines here. One, two. And then I am actually going to outline him. I'm just going to kind of do broken lines. Here. And my eyebrows. Oops, that one's thicker. So I'll go over that one again. I'll move my arm in a second so you can see. There, there is our troll with crayons blended and I cannot wait to see yours. I hope you had fun with this project today. Show me your trolls and I hope you enjoy the movie. Have a great day. Bye.